Hey everyone, today we're gonna read The Best Nest. Do you have the best nest? Do you love your house? Well, this is about some birds and their nest. Ready? Mr. Bird was happy. He was so happy he had to sing. This was Mr. Bird's song. I love my house, I love my nest. In all the world, my nest is best. Then Mrs. Bird came out of the nest. It's not the best nest, she said. I'm tired of this old place, said Mrs. Bird. I hate it. Let's look for a new place right now. She's not being very nice. So they left the old place to look for a new one. This place looks nice, said Mr. Bird. Let's move in here. But someone else had already moved in and he wasn't gonna let them move in, was he? Oof. So they looked at another house. This one looks nice, said Mr. Bird, and there's nobody in it. Does this look like a nice house to you? Hmm. Huh, you're wrong, said Mrs. Bird. This house belongs to a foot. See the foot going in? That house was a shoe. So they went on looking. I like this one, said Mr. Bird. It has a pretty red flag on the roof. I've always wanted a house with a flag, said Mrs. Bird. Maybe this place will be all right. Does this look like a nice house? Look at that face. Oh my, but it was not all right. I guess I made a mistake, said Mr. Bird. Do you know what this house is called? It's a mailbox. It's a house for your mail. You made too many mistakes, said Mrs. Bird. I'm going to pick the next house. And here it is, right here. They flew in, they looked around. Isn't it too big, asked Mr. Bird. I like this big house, said Mrs. Bird. This is the place to build our new nest. They went right to work. They needed many things to build their nest. First, they got some hay. They got some soda straws and broom straws. They got some sweater string. They got some stocking string and mattress stuffing. They got some horse hair. They got some man hair. Soon they had all the hay, all the straw, all the string, all the stuffing, all the horse hair, and all the van hair they could carry. They took it all back to build their nest. Mr. and Mrs. Bird worked very hard. It took them the rest of the morning to finish their nest. This nest is really the best, said Mrs. Bird. I want to stay here forever. Mr. Bird was so happy he was singing. Mr. Bird was Miss yeah, Mr. Bird was very happy too. He flew to the top of his house. He sang his song again. I love our house, I love our nest in all the world. Our nest is best. He was so busy singing, he didn't even see Mr. Parker coming. Every day at 12 o'clock, Mr. Parker came to the church. Mr. Parker came to pull a rope. The rope went up to the bird's new nest. The rope rang the bell right under Mrs. Bird's nest. Bong, bong, bong! Look at the nest, it's shaking. Mrs. Bird got out of there as fast as she could. Bong, 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 bong! It's a loud bell. When Mr. Bird came in, all he could see was a mess of hay and string and stuffing and horsehair and man hair and straws. Where was Mrs. Bird? I will look for her until I find her, said Mr. Bird. He looked high, he looked low, he looked everywhere for Mrs. Bird. 
He looked down into a chimney, but Mrs. Bird wasn't there. He looked down into a water barrel, but Mrs. Bird wasn't there. Then he saw a big fat cat. There was a big fat smile on the fat cat's face. There were some pretty brown feathers near the fat cat's mouth. Mr. Bird began to cry. Oh dear, he cried. This big fat cat has eaten Mrs. Bird. Hmm. Mr. Bird flew off. I'll never see Mrs. Bird again, he cried. It was getting dark. It began to rain. It rained harder and harder. Mr. Bird could not see where he was going. And he was crying. Crash! Mr. Bird bumped into something. It was his old house. That old, old house that Mrs. Bird hated. I'll go inside, said Mr. Bird. I'll rest here until the rain stops. Mr. Bird went in. Was Mrs. Bird sitting there singing? I love my house. I love my nest in all the world. This nest is best. What? You here? gasped Mr. Bird. I thought you hated this old nest. <coughs> Meow. Kit likes this nest the best too. Mrs. Bird smiled. I used to hate it, she said, but a mother bird can change her mind. You see, there's no nest like an old nest for a brand new bird. Mrs. Bird had laid an egg, a bright blue egg in that best nest. And then the egg popped open and the new bird thought so too. Thanks for reading with me. I hope you all love your house the best and you sing lots of songs about it. Have a great day. Bye.